have seen a mixture of martial arts get together in battle. But what if a technique combines some of the, these art forms together? And that's Mixed Martial Arts for you. And it's increasingly popular in Singapore. Razor TV checks it out. Hi, now I weigh slightly just under 80 kilograms and I'm 1.8 centimeters tall. Now Bruce here, on the other hand, he's half a head to shorter than me and he's 20 kg lighter than me as well. So technically, if I see him outside staring at my girl or trying to make a move for my girl and I look at him and I size him up to be a small guy, hey, I'm going to be the macho man, man. I'm going to like have to protect my girl's honor. I'm going to pick a fight with him, all right? All right, Bruce got lucky, all right? Not gonna happen again, I'm gonna take him on a second time. Get the money. Second time. All right, you're lucky Okay, what the hell just happened there? I just got whooped by a guy 20 kilograms lighter than me. A guy which I thought I could literally, you know, kick the shit out of him. Instead, he did the opposite on me. Okay, basically, uh, what happened there was Bruce is a practitioner of uh, mixed martial arts. Now, mixed martial arts, uh, from what I hear from Darren, is the closest thing to a street fight. Okay, so now, um, uh, ask Darren to uh, tell us a bit more about what MMA is about. Okay. Hey, Darren. Hi. Hey, uh, do you mind if I sit down, man? I'm out of breath after yeah, this. Yeah, sure. Like Firing with Bruce over there. So, what the hell just happened there, man? How did my ass get whooped so badly by a guy so much smaller than me? Okay, well, mixed martial arts basically deals with uh, different ranges of combat. So, if you fight somebody who's smaller, he's going to make you fight his game. Right. And so, he's going to make you feel out of place and he's going to take you on over there. Right. right. So, mixed martial arts deals a lot of, uh, it's a very scientific approach to fighting. It deals with angles, leverage, space, timing. You spent many, many years as a bouncer. Yes, I was actually from the police force, and then after that, I worked as a bouncer for about eight years. Okay, so you, you must have seen it all in, in the eight years, a whole yes, different situation, the fights, and stuff. Different situations, yes. How many fights have you been into? Um, maybe two hundred. Because there's a vibrant night scene in Singapore. Right. People get drunk. Right. And, uh, so, what do you? What do you? Um, I give you a scenario right now. Okay. I'm, I'm sitting down, minding my own business. Right. And uh, you're you're a drunken guy, mm -hmm. and you come up to me and say, you know, what are you staring at? Take, if you don't want to injure him, try to close the distance. So basically, he doesn't have enough um, room to chamber up his punches. So his punches will lose his effectiveness. Okay, let's talk more action. Okay, right. let's go. Okay, one really good move from here is, say for example, if A, if you throw a wild swing, say for example, he tra starts the wild swing, right? Okay, a lot of people, when you start the wild swing, they just block and then you swing again and you block. Right. So sooner or later, the attacker gains momentum. True? Right. Okay, so from here, if you're in this position, right, and most people, when they swing, they tend to cock back the arm. Right. right? So if you cock back the arm, I'm going to step in, boom, and one shot to the throat there. Right. Now, it's just going to be not at an Adam apple where it's going to hurt, but just above the Adam apple there, enough to stun him yeah. and then walk away. Now, mixed martial arts is not only useful for self-defense. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Okay, now do you ever practice uh, you know, any of the grappling moves on your girlfriend? Uh, not really, but sometimes I just like to um, just, just imp around and then play, play with the moves on her. Yeah? yeah. So, so which is your favorite move on her then? Um, the kimura. <laughs> it's supposed to lock someone's shoulder. Right, right, yeah. right. And how does your girlfriend feel about it? 
um, pretty gentle, so she's okay with it. So, so what does your girlfriend think about the armbar? Then? My girlfriend, uh, actually, she's quite interested in this. You know, like she actually asked me to teach her some like moves uh, for a bit of self defense, a bit of boxing. Yeah. Again, that, yeah, this, yeah. So, so is it more fun with your girlfriend when you are, you know, in your, in your, in your private moments, you do a little bit of grappling? Yeah, actually, it kind of like enhances the relationship. You know, you get laughed, then you get, I mean, you do something and you laugh and about it. Uh, how does your girlfriend feel about your grappling skills? Oh, nothing much. <laughs> huh? You never, you never use some of your fancy moves on it. Well, it's a separate, it's a separate life from from that part. You yeah. Know? yeah. So, there you have it. Uh, size in this case does not matter. Okay, it's all about uh, leverage and um, learning how to work your opponent. And uh, in this is one situation where I'm gladly say that thank God I'm a lover, not a fighter. Meanwhile, at the All Styles Martial Arts Championships, Mubarak has been winning match after match. Let's check out how he's been doing. Congratulations, Mubarak, on Emerging Champion, and congratulations to you too as the team manager. Now, how do you feel about the entire match? Um, praise to God that uh, I made it, you know, and uh, without any major injuries. So I'm still in one piece. Um, I thank my coach for really, really helping me a lot, you know. So uh, I feel very happy. That's uh, one but thing for sure. But there was even a, a, a one glitch where you actually lost your contacts or something. Like oh, that. Could yeah. you tell us what happened? So in uh, in 2005, uh, when I was fighting against one Gurkha and he uh, punched me, my contact lens went out. So I had to fight the entire uh, last third round without uh, my lenses. I felt very agitated. So today I brought four pieces extra just in case. And uh, it happened. So I got it. Okay, winning despite that dropped contact lens. What do you have to say about the match? I think uh, he did very well. Uh, I think he's well prepared for, for all the fights. And uh, I think in terms of technique-wise, uh, he's well-versed in, in different martial arts. He's trained for quite for some time. So in that sense, I'm quite confident that he, he actually... I'm very confident that he won this, this, this match here, the world champion uh, for, for his weight category. 
Um, I'm actually very proud of him. He did a very good job. <laughs> yeah. Actually, also, does having different experiences in different martial arts, because I understand also in PVC you used to do silat, does that also help in terms of experience? Uh, of course. Uh, so I started off uh, in silat, you know, it uh, contributed in physical attributes, you know, flexibility, conditioning, strength, and um, I mean, uh, to improve myself. Uh, silat was wonderful, and I wanted to improve in uh, more aspects uh, like throwing, takedowns, and grappling, so I started to join jujitsu. And then from there, I uh, sharpened uh, most of my techniques mm. with a strong base of silat. Yep. So what's in store for you in the next fight? Where, where's your next fight? Um, that, well, yeah, probably <laughs> Taiwan, but we will be discussing that yeah. among us. Because it's just not about the fight, it's about the weight category that I have to fit myself into. And of course, stamina and uh, sharpening of the techniques, so yeah. Well, we hope to send a team to Taiwan this year, next year. Um, hopefully, we can get something from Taiwan also. It's an Asian mixed juice tournament. Yeah. Well, uh, martial arts is also not quite just about fighting. So, anything you want to say to you know people out there who might actually want to take up a martial art? Um, martial art to me is not all about you know fighting or self defense. It's definitely discipline. How you you know how you respect your your, your seniors. You know and. Um, Basically, we learned um, to keep ourselves fit, not just to defend, but to keep ourselves fit. It's time for me to give it a shot. Let's get ready to rumble. Are you ready? Uh, hmm, uh, okay. This could get a bit messy. I think it could get a bit gruesome in my case for Razor TV. But thanks very much for watching Razor Active. And from me to you, KO.